We've got Ole Miss going to LSU. LSU, a one and a half point favorite. Let's go, Pete Bill Reese. So the line swung pretty drastically in this game. Yeah. I think I sent it uh, to uh, to the group text uh, earlier, and I uh, I agree with the Vegas juice here. I really feel like LSU is well positioned to stop the one trick pony of the Ole Miss offense, and. Uh, I give Lane, Lane Kiffin all the credit in the world for for getting this ham and egging this LSU team to uh, to to a seven and zero start. Um, I just really feel like this this is where like just talent and mano on mano comes in, and I don't think Ole Miss is going to have the juice without any sort of significant pass game in order to uh, in, in order to, to to go in and in and win in Death Valley. So I am. Uh, I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take the Tigers to uh, win and cover. This one's hard because I mean Ole Miss passes pretty well. Like they're you know, per pass, their numbers are, are pretty good. When they fall behind schedule, they catch up. All of those things. So I think maybe they're capable. They're running so much. Like it really does. Like if you put more on Jackson Dart's shoulders, is he really gonna? You know the the rates that he's established. Is he going to keep those up? And and that makes it really tricky. I'm. I'm kind of, I feel like just going with the hot, hot hand here. Ole Miss still, they've been so good early this year. Their defense is starting to fade a little bit. And I think that's going to catch up with them very soon. Uh, but I still like the potential of the offense. If LSU is able to slow down the run, I think they've got enough tricks in store. Uh, we've seen all the ceiling and all the floor of LSU in the last two weeks. And, and it, it, you know, it, it's hard to know what to make of that, which one we're going to see more down the stretch here. But um, yeah, I don't love this pick, but I'm going to stick with Ole Miss until they, until it backfires. My gut tells me Ole Miss, but there was a stat. I don't have the exact number in front of me, but it applied in the USC Utah game last week that Chris Felica brought up on college game day that when an undefeated team is an underdog to a team with two losses or more on the road, <laughs> that, that underdog or that, uh, that favored team at home has an incredible winning percentage. And all, although it was a great and thrilling game, Utah did it again uh, to USC this, this past weekend. I like Ole Miss a hundred times better than I like LSU as a team. <laughs> um, and I am very wary of, of that stat, but I'm, I'm going to tell you, I think the creativity, I think the fact that LSU has been kind of, uh, you know, a little mercurial, you know, you don't know exactly what you're getting and Ole Miss could fall into that category too, but Ole Miss is, is different. They, they, they play in spurts, yeah. they play and then they sort of doze and then they play and then they doze. Uh, so I'm there's part of me that wants to analyze this to death and a, a two loss team that's favored slightly at home against the undefeated team, which tells you that the Vegas people don't really believe in Ole Miss. But since it's such a tiny number, if I just even had a field goal, I'd probably take LSU. But I'm going to take Ole Miss and say that Lane uh, puts a little more heat on Alabama in the West and uh, and stays undefeated in a good one in a rivalry game in Baton Rouge. If it was at night, I would absolutely be taking LSU, by the way, but it's not. So, Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.